Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. Happy Monday. So nice to see everybody. How are you all doing today? Thank you so much for coming into this stream. We have a lot of cozy, fun adventures ahead of us today. It is so, so nice to see everybody. How are you all doing? How was your weekend? How was your week uh, before that? All of that. Let me know. How, how, how were you all this weekend? Hope uh, if you're in a colder, colder climate, hope you're keeping warm. It's warmed up a little bit uh, where I am, just a little bit, but I think it's kind of dropped because my toes are very cold again today, you know? My toes are cold. Welcome on in, uh, Bur Bushes and Burrows, Amethyst, Skell, Ayla, Kate, Lisa, Jill. Oh my gosh, Azzy, the gang is here. Moon, I saw you too. Uh, King, get that sleep. Get that sleep. If you have to uh, fall back asleep, no worries. I know it's early where you are. Thank you so much, everybody, for popping in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And it's so, so nice to see you all. So we have... um. A couple things planned today. I mean, like nothing, nothing too crazy. So we're going to continue working on our uh, cat village. If you were not uh, on the stream on Friday on Twitch, you will not have seen what we did to the plant shop. We fix up the plant shop. So it is all complete now. It's looking good. Let's let's go on in here. Look at this. Look at this. We have an array of plants, an array of plants for the cats to shop. We still have some other stuff to add. We need to add like a secret area under underground for catnip, but that's all done. I think it's looking really good. We moved some of the cats in, some of the named cats. Um, I figured at the end of stream today, we could uh, hang tight though. Don't suggest anything yet because we're gonna do a poll towards the end of stream, the end of stream. So don't don't suggest anything yet. Um, we'll, we'll name one of these cats because we got a ton of new cats today, I think. I'm pretty sure we only have a couple more to get. We were looking at the chart the other day uh, when we were streaming on Friday, and I think we have like two more. We have the jelly cat, and then we have to find a black cat in a swamp. So um, so we only got a couple, couple guys left, and then we've got the whole collection. Also, um, I kind of decided that any of the Calico cats, I wanna collect as many as I can and just name them variants of Ruth's nickname because we have Ruth over there right now, but I want like a thousand Ruths in this world. All different, all of her nicknames though. So like Ruthie, Rufus, Plaque Tooth, Chicken Gut. I think it would just be hilarious to fill this world with Ruths. That's not gonna crash my game, right? That's not too many cats. It's not too many cats. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit worried about that, but we have, um, we have some stuff we can do today. So. What we've been working on on YouTube, I've kind of been flip-flopping between these two. Like this is kind of like the Twitch uh, place that we're working on. So all of the content, <clears throat> all of the building being done for this plant shop is done on Twitch. And then I was like, we can just build this one on YouTube. So you kind of like don't really miss anything in the sense that like you kind of know what's going on with one full build. So last week on YouTube, what we did was we built this shop. This is going to be a shop where we sell fish. So I just realized, wait a second, what's going on here? Oh, I see what I did here. I see what I did here because it's flat. I was like, why are these two in line with one another? I don't really mind that actually, it's kind of cute. That's okay. Smells a lot like ranch dressing, must mean drift has gone live. Oh my gosh, the telltale sign, the classic, smells like ranch is in the air. Drift is live. Toot, so nice to see ya. How you doing? Can somebody uh, tell me how to make this brick uh, that was used to make the path? So what you have to do is you have to combine mud with wheat. Very weird combination. And then it turns into packed mud. And then from there, you take the packed mud and you can make bricks. It's kind of a weird combo, but it looks very good. Very, very good. Yeah, we have so many cats now, it's hilarious. <laughs> We're probably gonna finish up finding the rest on Twitch um, on Friday if you all want to join then. Um, and also, I guess because I I don't think I announced this on YouTube as well. So what we've kind of been doing was a while back we had to kind of um, stop not stop streaming on Twitch, but we had to cut down the days that we stream on Twitch. Uh, we lost about like I think like two days or something. But exciting news, we are bringing one back on Saturdays or Sundays. 
So uh, keep your keep your eyes peeled for that. So we do Friday streams on Twitch and Saturdays, except Saturdays uh, we play cozy games with my fiance, Big Tiny Duck. We uh, play, well, it's not really cozy. We played Fortnite the other day, but it was really funny and really fun. I'm gonna try, the VODs are very, <laughs> VODs can be really tricky because you have to like download them, put them into Premiere and stuff. I'm gonna try really hard um, to get some of that content out. It might mean that like some of my second channel content that I've been working on outside of like everything else might have to go on the back burner, but I'm going to try really hard to get the VODs on that second channel, so make sure you go sub over there. I'll try and get the uh, Fortnite one up uh, as soon as possible so you can uh, reminisce on the good times. The good times. Drift, I would like it, uh, you to name two chickens, please. I would like them to be named KFC and Popeyes. Moon, first of all, thank you so much for the two months channel membership. I really appreciate it. Chat, you know what to do. All the hype for Moon, all the swags in chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the kindness. And of course, since uh, you've got that good old two month channel membership, of course, of course. Uh, are there any specific cats? The Ruth cat is out of, the Ruth cat is vetoed because Ruth cats are only gonna ne be named Ruth variant nicknames, but any other cat, can be named or can I just choose? Just let me know if you want me to choose or if there's like any type of cat that you would like to be named KFC and Popeyes and I will go ahead and do that. Actually, while we're doing that, let me go get some name tags ready. We should probably trade up some stuff for some name tags so we can get this done. BT is the best, love her energy, spent the whole stream just melting at how lovely you two are together. Oh, Jody, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you two, uh, you too. I'm glad you all enjoyed our uh, shenanigans together because <laughs> we we honestly have so much fun. We have so much fun just playing games, all of that stuff. I'm glad uh, I'm I'm glad we kind of thought of it because we were like, I don't know. We've been talking about it for so long, and right now we can't really do a Minecraft world because we don't have a proper PC set up for Big Tiny Duck. I think that will happen in the future, but we were like, well, in the meantime, why don't we just like play some games together that we normally play because we're out here playing Fortnite like every night anyway so come on you know come on so happy you all enjoyed it and honestly it made btd so happy too she was like she was like did people enjoy it did they have fun i was like yes of course of course they did and btd you're a star that's all i gotta say <laughs> Have you played Lego Fortnite? I have not played Lego Fortnite. Oh wait, yes, I have played Lego Fortnite. Sorry, I have played Lego Fortnite. BTD has not played Lego Fortnite is what I was gonna say. We are considering doing a playthrough of it. I don't know. Um, I think she might, I think she might like it. She hasn't tried it yet, so she's not sure about it. But I was like, honestly, like, I feel like you'd like it. It's just like chill, chill survival. You know what I mean? It's very, very chill survival. So I'm like, I feel like if she gave it a shot, she'd be into it. So that's kind of one that I'm kind of hoping ends up on the list, as long as she likes it, of course. So in the meantime, though, um, before we give that a shot, she's definitely, I think we're planning on doing some Stardew and stuff like that. Stardew's on the list. I think Fae Farm is another one we want to check out for sure. Lots and lots of fun games that are going to be uh, played. Lisa, thank you so much for the two months oh my gosh i really appreciate it how about mischief and mayhem my cat is named eminem mischief and mayhem because he is uh my maker of mischief and bringer of mayhem i love that of course thank you so much for the two months and of course because you got that sweet sweet channel membership i will absolutely honor that as well we have so many cats that can be named um do you want me to do eminem or mischief one mischief one mayhem and also, if you have any preference on a uh, cat type that you would like me to uh, to do as well, let me know. And I will absolutely get that done. Also, are the uh, game sounds good for you all? Just got to double check because I'm always messing around with these when I'm playing like different games and stuff. Uh, let me just scroll back up really quickly. My mom, oh, sorry, Chloe. I read this and never uh, replied. My mom doesn't understand the live streams. Can you say hi to Chloe's mom to blow her mind? Hi, Chloe's mom. If you both are still here, I hope you're both having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend as well. 
<laughs> yes, this is live. I am I am streaming live live from New York. It's Saturday night, except this is not Saturday night live and I am not in New York, so I am in Canada. <laughs> so we're um keep a hold on all of the other names because uh we'll we'll do a we'll do an overall chat name towards the end of stream. Of course, with the memberships and stuff, I will honor these ones, of course. Um, but for a general, a general YouTube, uh, YouTube cat, wait till the end of stream and we'll, we'll do a poll towards the end for sure. Eminem is a tabby, but you can do, um, just do one. So someone else has a chance. Okay. For sure. M and M and then also moon. I'm unsure. I am unsure where yours is. I forget what you said. I like. I know you said Popeyes and KFC, but oh, you want chickens? You want chickens? Of course. Okay. Well, if we have chickens, oh no! If we have chickens, I'm gonna have to like go put them somewhere because they're they're gonna roam around and like just end up like I don't, who knows where? You know, Popeyes and KFC. That is that is uh. How could you? How could you? <laughs> Good sounds? Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you. You guys have Lethal Company? I've tried Lethal Company. I want to play more because I only like... I feel like I, I scratched the surface of it. I really feel like I only scratched the surface, but I really enjoyed it. I've been watching other people play too, and it's just shenanigans. Uh, Lisa, okay, so I've got a... um For Eminem... Since, well, Calico's different. I don't know if I have a tabby right now. Do I have a tabby? These are all, I have a British short hair. I have a, wait, is this a tabby cat? I forget. Or is that just like a ginger cat? Tabbies are usually gray. I'm not sure I have one right now. Hold on a second. Let's see. The chat. What is that one doing? Is this a tabby? Avid lurker? No. That's a, that's a short hair, right? Huh? Which ones are considered tabbies? These ones? I think, oh, this is a tabby. This has to be a tabby, right? Amberly, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. You're hunting for netherite. Please bless my adventure. We are blessing it. Good luck. GG's, you got this. You got this. Carlos, welcome on in. We are just uh, currently naming a cat for a channel member. That's ragdoll. Okay. Orange tabby's okay. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So Eminem, we've got a new cat buddy in the village. Eminem, welcome on in. I mean, you've always been here, but now are you, now you are officially named. So maybe what I should do also is, do I have my leads on me? I'm going to need them because, oh, perfect. First of all, we got to give you a treat. You get a treat, Eminem, because you are just so adorable. Is there anywhere you want Eminem to go? I was thinking about um, putting Eminem in the cat shop, or not the cat shop, the plant shop for now, just to fill it up because we have so many in the cat cafe. But if there's a build uh, that we finish up, uh, like if we finish up the fish shop today, we can move them over there as well. All right, enjoy your stay, Eminem. If you're shopping for plants, you get a 10% discount. I repeat, you get a 10% discount because you are so adorable. Yay! All right, so we have a new member of the cat village. And of course, um, at the end of the stream, we will be naming another one as well. So the last thing that we need to do for Moon's membership is we need to find two chickens and we need to name them KFC and Popeyes. Moon, what, go what goes on in that brain of yours, huh? What's going on in that brain of yours? All right, we're gonna have to find a good home for these fellas. I need to build a chicken coop at some point. I actually don't have a chicken coop. I don't have a chicken coop, so we're gonna have to figure that out eventually. Sorry, I'm just turning up my game sounds in my ears because I cannot hear. Uh-oh, where's the other one? There you are. KFC and or Popeye. You gotta follow me, homie. Gotta follow me.
There we go. Don't you have a chicken somewhere named Cookie? Oh my gosh, Cloud, you remember that? I do. I have it in the, um, it is actually in the windmill. It's in the windmill. Maybe we should put them in one of the decorated shops because I don't think we really have much in there. I feel like, I feel as though they would appreciate a good barber shop, you know? Like they're just coming in here to get their hair cut, their feathers cut, if you will. All right, these are the new residents of the barber shop. So we've got, we've got Popeyes and KFC. <laughs> Eventually we might, you know what? This would actually be better if we move them to the McDonald's, but that's very, very far. We do have like, well, a McDrifties is what I'll call it. We have a McDrifties, but it's very far. How about making a chicken stall that is uh, glass on one side so the cats can't see them? <gasps> that is such a great idea. Lisa, put that, put that idea, write that down and put that in your pocket. We need to have a chicken stall for sure. <laughs> That is so good. Right, literally, I, I mean it. Write it write it down and put it in your pocket. Maybe one of these buildings, because I would like to have three in a row. Maybe we could have the chicken shop that is in competition with the fish shop, you know? I feel like that's a good idea. Can't you fly with uh, things on a lead? I'm not sure if you can, to be honest. Is that a thing? Can we do that, chat? I usually don't risk it because I'm just so bad with leads. They always break. Make them a pen that looks like a deep fryer. You all are just so... These poor chickens, they're just trying to live their best life. And here you all are. <laughs> oh, I share whatever thoughts I feel are safe to share. <laughs> oh, moon. Never change. Never change. All right. So, chat, this is the space that we have to fill out today. Um, We have lots of time. We're only getting started on today's stream. So, uh... The whole idea is this is going to be, I mean, the bottom floor is basically going to be a shop where we sell fish. So I'm kind of thinking like we gather up a couple of materials that would look uh, good for a fish shop. So I'm thinking things like, of course, we need fishing rods. We're going to need obviously an abundance of fish. Another thing that looks very good is uh, copper because it looks like fish in a barrel. So we can do that as well. Also, Mama, I don't know if I said hello to you, but if I did not, hello and welcome on in. So nice to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stuck at the dealership getting my oil changed, so this stream is my entertainment. Oh heck yeah. Heck yeah. I hope, uh, hope it's all done soon. Nothing worse than just like having to wait around sometimes and you're just like, I'd like to leave now. I would like to leave. But hopefully it'll be all done soon. All right, so let's gather up some like, some of these. Kind of like vaguely looks like fish in a barrel, you know? Very vaguely. So we could do that. Um, hmm, what else? We're of course gonna need some, probably spruce signs just for decoration. Flooring, I don't know what I wanna do for flooring. I mean, it's a fish. It's a fish shop, so I'm kind of like, I feel like the flooring has to be easily washable. I'm thinking too much about this. Just no carpet, I guess. Fish and a rice cake. A rice cake? Block down. Homie, so nice to see ya. What do you mean by rice cake, though? All right, we need decorative, decorative. We're gonna need a lot of item frames because we're gonna be displaying fish. I feel like composters work really well, campfires, maybe iron bars for something. I feel like a little fish cutting station would look really cool as well. We could kind of make that one like out of copper or something. It would look kind of cool if it was like degrading as well. So maybe I'll use cut copper so it starts to rust. Remember waiting for the bus after college and watching your streams, but now I'm watching your streams and making my lessons plan lesson plans as a new instructor at the same college. That is incredible. GG's Chloe. That's very, very incredible. I love that. I love that. Like I was just kind of on the side <laughs> while you were doing all of that. Congratulations. Cassidy, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. 
Shroud, I missed your message. I'm so sorry. I just saw... Uh, I just saw uh, King mention your name. Block down. I am so confused. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm <am> so confused. <laughs> All right. So, uh, fish, fish. I feel like if we're going to be doing a fish shop, we should also get like different types of fish. We have cooked cod, raw salmon, puffer fish, maybe some shells, stuff like that. I wish we had, um, that mod that does like rope because netting always looks so good for like a fish shop. I never used to put the fish on the counter. Oh, pressure plates for the cutting boards. Brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. I was, maybe we could also put like an ax on, on the table as well. We can't really, well, maybe a sword would work too. You could have hanging nets made of trap doors with strings with drying fish. Ooh, that's smart too. I like that. I was kind of thinking we could make like a little smoker in one of the corners as well, you know? Just a little like smoker compartment where there's doors, but there's also like actual lit campfires with fish on it. Or wait, no, you can't put the fish on the campfire. It'll cook and they'll fall off. But we, what we can do is we could hide the smokers underneath the floor. What games do you play off stream? I feel like uh, you would like Armor Core 6 or GTA 5. I haven't heard of Armor Core 6. GTA 5 has been a hot minute since I played that. Um, haven't I honestly haven't played that in forever. I heard the multiplayer is really fun though. I play a lot of Fortnite off stream. I really wanna, well, it's not gonna be an off stream game, but I really wanna try out Baldur's Gate as well. I've heard very good things about that. Um, mostly like, I usually play through like, I love co-op games and also just like, I don't know, like what would it be called? RPG games like Fallout and stuff. You're both going to cause the chaos, huh? Drift play single play player bingo off stream. The one time I told you about how I played bingo, come on. <laughs> Should I do... Chat, should I play bingo on stream one day to relive my youth of me playing bingo by myself? It'd be, I should just play bingo on Minecraft by myself. It's the same thing. <laughs> cobwebs, the co, oh yes, cobwebs, not string, cobwebs. Okay, I don't know where I have cobwebs. I might have a couple. Let's grab some of those too. That's a great idea. Lit campfire with iron trapdoor above, then item frame with the fish on the trapdoor. Wait, can you place? Oh yeah, you could place um an item frame on a trapdoor. You're so right, as long as it's placed correctly. That's very smart too. We've got the ideas flowing today. We've got the ideas absolutely flowing. So I'm just gonna look in this messy old storage uh, for a hot second, just for some cobwebs. I might have to go into the mine shafts really quickly, but that's okay. We have a... Uh, we do have one right underneath us that we could go we could go to, so Yeah, if the fire's out, they won't cook. Exactly. And then you, I usually what I do is I just bury the campfires underneath, which is like very helpful. Uh let me go into my real section for the mines hold on a second this is just like a little drop down i don't know where it leads to anymore it's been so long since i've used that ah i remember you talking about hollow knight in a previous uh video i get so excited oh my gosh would you want to watch me play hollow knight because i okay i actually recently started that in my off time and i was like man i miss this game so much it was it's so fun i only i didn't get very far though because i've just been too busy because me and BTD have been just playing so many games together. But I mean, I would I would play that on stream for sure. All right, some cobwebs, maybe just a few more. There's some. <laughs> the sad bingo. Listen, we we need to we need to like 
we need to have a comeback with the bingo story, which is me playing really fun Minecraft bingo by myself. Build your mind palace in Minecraft. Azzy, is this, isn't this already my mind palace? <laughs> I feel like it is at this point. Me building Mike Wazowski, building, uh, building up like a cat city just because we can. This place really do be feeling like a giant mind palace. <laughs> I definitely watch you play sad bingo because I know either Froggy or BTD is 100% going to pop in and roast you. So true. Or block down. So true. Alright, I feel like this should be enough cobwebs. 15... That should get us through and any other that we see around here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. Hollow Knight streams, please. Honestly, if y'all were interested, I would play through that game because I've never actually beat it. I've only gotten to like certain points and then stopped. I don't know why. It's just one of those games where like I've... I play it and then like I get busy, fall off. So I would love to actually finish it one day for sure. That and Baldur's Gate is on the list. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you all. So I ended up playing D&D the other day uh, with my friend, uh, her boyfriend and his buddies. And I had such a blast. I mean, they made it like such a positive experience for me because it was my first time properly playing. And oh my gosh, I had so much fun chat. I was like, by the end of it, I was like, holy, I could have, I could have literally played that for like, I mean, we did play for hours, but I could have played for an extra, like, five hours. Such, such a fun experience. I played, um, I think I was, like, a mountain dwarf. And I did dual-wheel daggers. That was, like, my thing. And then also, what, what else was it? I, I was a brewer, but I, I didn't really end up using the brewing thing because it was a one-shot campaign. So I feel like if I kept that character in the future, I would use something like that. But oh my gosh, it was such a fun experience. I had a blast um, kind of like learning how to do it. I, I feel like I picked it up a little bit easier than I thought I would because I've listened to so many D&D podcasts. So like I, I really did understand it. But like what kind of confused me was which die was which. They were like, I knew what a D20 was because I'm like, that one's like the classic. But they're like, roll a D4. And I'm like, well, which one's this one? what's this one i they had to keep showing me which die was what it was so funny i had so so much fun though i i would love to do that again it was such a great experience honestly also ayla thank you so much for becoming a drift channel member thank you so so much i really really appreciate it chat you know what to do all the swags all the swags big swags in chat thank you so so much for the kindness i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoy all of your emotes So yeah, my my character, I'll have to show you all a um the statue that my uh friend's boyfriend made. He made me a statue like a little like 3D printed statue of my character and it looks so cute. I'll have to show you all either on um on Discord or on stream on Friday. So I guess I I think my alignment I is alignment um sorry, let me just before I start placing stuff down, I need to change the flooring. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Ah, uh, flooring, flooring. You know what? I'm gonna go diorite. I'm gonna go get some while we talk. So, yeah, I played. I played a dwarf, a mountain dwarf. It was super cool. I was a little bit like chaotic. I was, of course, chaotic good. Um, and what else did I do? I think yeah, I was a brewer. I did dual wield. You know what? Magic is one of those things where even in video games like i do i appreciate it but i kind of prefer just like like dual wielding and just like running around with like a bow and some like daggers and just and just having fun that way and also i really love doing things like charisma checks and stuff like that magic isn't like really my it's not like a really big thing for me i appreciate when other people do it i like watching it but like for me personally i would prefer to like I don't know, try to be like a little bit more like sneaky in some ways with like a bow and stuff. It was super fun though. I, 
I play so much D&D &D and I still need to focus so hard to make sure I roll the right die. Yeah, it's there's so many different type of die. And also, I need to kind of like understand when they need to be used. I mean, the the DM will always tell you, but I need to like learn. I want to learn why you use certain die at certain times. The one thing I didn't really understand was like the rolling for damage and stuff like that. That was kind of like a little bit new to me, but it was it was fun to watch the process and they did a really good job of explaining stuff to me so I, I understood what was happening and why. Just count the side that helps with remembering the dice. True. Very, very true. Sorry, just check in my phone very quickly. I was just making sure I wasn't missing like a package at the door or anything. What D&D podcast do I listen to? So I have listened to a lot of, um, I listened to a lot of the McElroy podcast with, uh, what was the like OG one called? Oh my gosh. I forget now. It's been so long. I listened to like a lot of the McElroy ones. I've listened to, um, Dungeons and Daddies. I really loved the first season of that one. I don't think I've listened to much of the second season, though. If anybody has, like, any recommendations on, like, other D&D podcasts, like, throw them out there. Or even pop them in the Discord, because when I'm at the gym, I really enjoy listening to podcasts. Um, music's okay, but I think I prefer, like, voices over music. So if anybody has any suggestions, please throw them in the Discord or chat or wherever. Um, and I'll have to check them out. I heard Critical Role. Obviously, Critical Role is amazing, but I've just heard that, like, it's a lot in terms of time. And just, uh, it's, it's like a very huge time investment. So I just don't know if that's, like, in the cards for me, you know? Adventure Zone! That's what it was. Adventure Zone. Thank you so much. Yes, Adventure Zone was, like, I feel like that was my first introduction into d and And I think that's where I kind of, like, fell in love with listening to it. It's just, I find that it's just such a fun medium to listen to. Just cause like, I don't know. It's just people making up a story as they go on, you know? Dungeons and Daddies is a good one. I love that one. It's so good. I, I've heard like, I don't know what I've heard so much about the second season though. I haven't heard much about it, whether it's like good or not. It's pronounced Ela in English. I think I'm uh, in my native language. It's more like an old A, A element. AO meme. Okay, wait, wait, it's like Ela. Ela. Did I get it right? If I did, let me know. And thank you so much for the correction, by the way. And thank you again for the channel membership. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. All right. Um. What else could I do for the flooring here? I think Deep Slate would look good. Amethyst, we'll see you later. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for popping in. Also, writer, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. Tabletop time roleplay. Okay, I gotta... I've gotta check that one out. That's why I like Dimension 20. Their eps are shorter overall and they do short seasons rather than multi-year campaigns. See, that's a, that's what I'm kind of looking for. I think you summed it up perfectly because that's kind of what Critical Role is like. Like, they're very long campaigns. And although, like, I appreciate that, I'm like, oh, if I missed something, I'd be super sad and just, like, it would just be a lot, you know? So maybe that's kind of what I'm looking for, shorter, shorter season campaigns. Mm, just looking for another type of flooring that would look good next to the, uh... Diorite. I think Blackstone would look really good. I just don't know if I have any. Hmm. There's no reason for which dice you use. The rules just state what to use, but basic D20 is uh, for ability to do actions and the rest is for damage or choice between a set of options. Okay, that makes sense. So it's like, yeah, it, it, it's just dependent on the rules then. Yeah, Acrylic would be a very good uh, person to ask about this stuff because I know he does a lot of DMing and stuff. I might pop into the nether really quickly. I need some Blackstone.
yeah definitely any of the uh recommendations you have like please throw them into the discord i'm going to the gym today i was listening to music the other day because i'm like kind of caught up on all the podcasts i listen to and i was like oh, i need something new so throw them in the throw them into the discord because i need some good old wrecks and i guess the parameters would literally just be anything that is uh anything that is like shorter campaigns would be good for me M mckelboard brothers have a good uh couple other podcasts that are very good you should look up monster factory on youtube oh moon i used to watch monster factory all the time that and um i would listen to obviously my brother my brother and me was a huge thing i used to listen to all of their content uh driving to work Th that was always on in the mornings i i for a while i had caught up on like all of their stuff which is wild <laughs> that's because i had a very long commute think how you first said it sounds better in english okay no worries i pre i always appreciate the correction so if there's other ever um a correction you want me to make i have no no problem whatsoever but i appreciate it all right just need i think that should be good perfect i think that's enough i always mispronounce your name have i been mispronouncing it the whole time tabletop time do a mixture of long campaign and shorts okay sweet i'm gonna check them out for sure time to get bullied by angry bacon literally i was a little bit worried because i didn't have any gold while i was in there i just i just sent it though What's your favorite Canadian dinner? I'm in England, so I'm not aware of uh, much in Canada. What's like a classic Canadian dish? I feel like... I feel like Canadian dishes are also like very American at the same time. Because we have like some classic Canadian things like... um, A very French one would be... It is called... I believe it's called... Hot chicken sandwiches. So it's literally shredded chicken in between white bread um and then you dump gravy on it and then peas but it's it's so hard to find outside of montreal like it's nearly impossible um i think that's actually one of my favorites i haven't had it in forever because it's so hard to get but that would be a favorite poutine's amazing but i don't think i could consume that for dinner every night without going into like cardiac arrest because it's very rich it's very good i suggest if you ever go to canada to try it also i messed up i did end up liking this blackstone like as polished i'm gonna have to go back because i think that looks super good sorry i thought i was gonna end up using this and then i was like oh what about the polished though so we're making one more trip back that's okay But as for like Canadian dishes, I I don't I didn't really grow up eating traditional Canadian stuff because my uh both of my parents are from Europe. So I just ended up eating, especially because my grandmother uh took care of me a lot in my childhood. Like I would just end up eating whatever she cooked. So I never got like the full experience, <laughs> to be honest. Wee. Okay, I need like the actual blackstone. These are like the bricks. I don't know where. Oh, there's some. I feel like I'm gonna get into trouble here. I'm a little bit scared if I'm honest. I just need some like classic blackstone. There's gotta be some, oh wait, you know what? There's some over by the uh, frog farm. I'm so silly. I think there is. Have to say your name in a fancy French accent? Oh my gosh, I've like nearly failed French in school. I don't think I can do that. Ah! That was really scary. Just stop in to say hello while I'm at work. I'll have to watch the stream after it's uploaded. Just want to say your channel inspired me to get into Minecraft again. And thank you for that. Oh, Maeve, thank you so much for popping in. And that makes me so, so happy to hear. I hope you're enjoying uh, the Minecraft, getting back into it. And if you ever have any, like, uh, builds or anything you want to share, 
Uh, our Discord is a great place. Mind and Block Down's Discord. There is a showcase channel. Um, you can go there for tips and tricks as well. The community is very great, and this piglin is going to kill me. How's my January gone? Honestly, I would say overall, January's been a good one. It's felt like a very long month, but I'm not complaining because I don't know. I've, I think I've gotten back into a good routine after Christmas. So that's great. Um, I also have like a really good consistent routine with the gym again. And I'm just vibing, you know? I would say it's been the month of consistency. December was a little bit crazy because, you know, like traveling going to see family, all that stuff, which was really fun. But getting back into uh, into routine is always nice. I am a creature of habit. I love routine. And if I have no routine, I get sad. Oh, all of the like uh, the actual black stones at the bottom of the bastion not worth i always forget that it's also in other spots like that would have been so much easier the first time just like flying to a random spot i always kind of forget about um about blackstone but it has like such a nice because like deep slate is a little bit more desaturated this has like more blue in it you know also you want to try poutine so bad honestly i i love poutine I think it's delicious. Oh, like some people are kind of like, eh, it's kind of nasty. And I'm like, listen, I wouldn't eat it every day, but it's a nice treat. It is indeed a nice treat. All right, we're going to have to make a ton of new campfires to get our, uh, our smokers. So if anybody's just popping in, uh, we are building a shop, a fish shop for our lovely, lovely residents today. I feel like this could be maybe the cash corner will be around here and then like the smokers and stuff can be in here. I think that should be fine. I don't think this will block it, right? No, this might look goofy. It might not. We'll see. So let's go three high and then what we can do is we can get like smoker here smoker here oh wait no you can't do that because then you can't or can you place it let's see i need fish first did i just visit the nether twice i did i did look at me i'm so brave <laughs> i'm so brave chat i did it i really did it That one person, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Okay, we're gonna pop in some... Oh, perfect. Look, it works. Heck yeah. You know what? It stopped... Oh, wait, no. It's still smoking a little bit. It's not a lot, but I don't think we really need a lot, if that makes sense. I don't know. We could also like kind of cage out the bottom instead of having like um blocks. Oh wait, you know what we could do? I was going to say instead of like putting like a cage thing there, what we could actually do is um we could easily just put like hay underneath because hay makes the uh the fire like the smoke larger, right? I think that might work. Iron trap doors. Oh yeah, the iron trap doors too. Jody, you had the same thoughts I did as well. I feel like the iron trap doors would kind of make sense, you know? I want to give that a shot for, like, aesthetic. Let's see. I may have put all my iron back at the base. That's okay. We can go get some. Is poutine like fries and gravy? So it's fries, gravy, and... what? We'll what we call cheese curds, which is, it's just like mozzarella cheese, kind of. It's a very mild cheese, but they're in like little like clumps. And the secret to a good cheese curd is if you bite it and it squeaks and it's like a little cold still, then it's good. It's very, very delicious though. I honestly, I love poutine. It's one of my, it's definitely a guilty pleasure for me, for sure. 
And honestly, it the best place to get it is in Quebec for sure. They're the ones who originated it, like the hot chicken sandwich, and that's where you'll find the best poutine. It's not quite the same whenever you go to um whenever you go anywhere else to get it. It's really not. Also, I was just thinking when we were making these iron grates, I was like, I am so excited for the uh the copper grates because they're gonna look so good for builds like this oops how's that look i mean you can't really see it but i kind of dig that you know i think it does it allows more light to fall in and also a little bit more smoke even though it obviously kind of gets choked out with these guys right here i think that's a little bit better it's just this i think the smoke is having a hard time with all of these, usually what I do when I make my smokers is I actually put them behind the smoker, but for the sake of being in a shop, I think that's okay. I think we're kind of looking more towards like having the sound there, if that makes sense. Yeah, we could also try hay too. I wonder if it would actually work with what we're doing. I'm curious, let's try it out. How do you make the ancient city not scary? Honestly, I think it's always going to be a little bit scary. I I kind of enjoy the fright, to be honest. I didn't think I'd like the ancient city as much as I would. But once you kind of get used to it, it's it's a good time. It's a it's a very fun time. But I think like in order to make it like more tolerable, you got to go over prepared with like wool and stuff, you know? I think that's the trick is to just like come very prepared and be very very careful. Mummy Bear, welcome on in. How you doing? Okay, I think that's looking... It is providing a little bit more smoke. It's getting just, like, caught on these guys. But I think that's okay. Red, homie! So nice to see you. How you doing? How was your weekend? Also, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Just vibing today. We're uh, hanging out. We're building our fish shop for our cat city. We've only got two more cats to find, too, which is awesome. I'm wondering if like with the smoker, maybe I should have like one door open like this. Might kind of, mm. oops. It might cut off like part of the room though. Maybe like that and then the other one can be closed. That would look kind of cool. Taco, welcome on in. How you doing? You got to feed your kitty. Let's go. Always very, very important. Gotta feed the kitties. Uh, let's grab these. And then I just need a little bit more spruce. Actually, I have so many, so many doors in my inventory. I gotta go get some. Good lurk, uh, since I'm at work and forgot my headphones. No worries. Hope, uh, work is going well. That's why I got an auto wool farm set up early on so I can tackle the ancient city. That was pretty much the same thing with us, uh, in this world. I haven't done ancient city in any other worlds just because, like, I, if you don't have wool, it is honestly infinitely harder. It is so much harder. But if you've got the wool, you're pretty much set because then you could just take your time just, like, running around, getting rid of all of the shriekers. Once the shriekers are gone, like, I don't really think there's much of a threat, right? Kisses for Ruth if she's in reach. Oh my gosh, yes. I need I need to go smooch Ruth. <laughs> Unbreak. She's a, she's a little ham. All right. Let's maybe do closed door on this one. Whoops. Can I do it like this? That's kind of cute. And then what we could do, because this is like obviously open. Oops, wrong way. Like that. Just have these kind of like closed off, if that makes sense. I think that's kind of cute. So we got a smoker there. I think what we need to do is we need to get like a little workstation back here. Where all of the fish are kind of like, you know, like prepped and stuff like that. We could maybe put... Like a barrel of fish right here. Except I don't think I can get a trapdoor 
here, so I need to move it over a bit. Maybe we'll do it in this corner. Barrel of fish. And we need those copper, um, copper stairs for our prepping station. Infinitely harder, you say? Haha. <laughs> infinite, infinite who? Infinite what? Infinite me. Going good. The weekend was good. Went shopping and got some things on good deals and played board games with the fam. Eating some lunch and vibing. The fish shop is looking uh, cute thus far. Oh my gosh, that sounds like such a relaxing weekend. What board game did you play? What board game? We've um slowly been getting back into board games with my friends. I think the next thing we next one we want to try is called Wingspan. I've heard very very good things about it. Um. But we just have to find a time to play it. I don't know exactly what it's about, but everyone's saying, like, it is a very, very good game. Uh, some dirt, too. <clears throat> and also, I think I may need a slab. Can you turn? Wait a second. Let's see. <clears throat> Can you turn copper stairs into whatever? Or is it once it's cut, it's cut? Yeah. I thought they gave you a bit of wheel wheelay. Leeway with copper. Wheelay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Are you doing another episode of Chill Survival? Absolutely, I am. I am actually uh, about midway through the next episode. It won't be released this week, but probably next week. I'm hoping to have it scheduled. Tomorrow is going to be a long play. I have two long plays scheduled for you all, um, all ready to go. I won't spoil what they are, but they are um, one-offs, except one of the one-offs, I think I'm gonna turn into a mini series. I don't know if I, I spoiled that one already, but I'm gonna do another mini, mini series for the uh, long plays, just cause it was super fun for the fall one. So definitely look forward to that uh, in between the chill survival episodes. So as of right now, what we've got for the channel is chill survival and long uh, long plays with commentary. Um, I've really been vibing with those. They've been super, super fun. You all seem to enjoy them as well. So I'm super happy about that. And yeah, very, very excited. Also with the, uh, the chill survivals have been so, so fun to make lately. I've really been, we've made a lot of progress in the past few episodes and I'm just super happy about it. Eventually, I would love to stream in the chill survival world again, too. If any of you are wondering why we haven't been doing that, literally, the only problem is it's because I'm kind of ahead on them. So if I'm in the world uh, streaming, I'd be spoiling stuff. And I don't want to spoil too much for the episodes. Um, so that's that's been like the one drawback, actually, is... Uh, I'm, I'm so far ahead with that stuff that it, it would be a spoiler and we don't want that. We need like little plastic containers uh, with live fish in it, like on Japanese fish markets. Ooh, you know what else we need? I forgot what we were, we were gonna do is a fish tank. We need a fish tank. Wingspan's one of my favorite games. Oh, heck yeah. I've heard like, all I've heard about it is that it's just genuinely a very good game. So I need to definitely need to give it a shot. Okay, I just realized. I think we're gonna take away this spot, put this somewhere else. I think a fish tank needs to go here or here maybe actually. Let's just get rid of this and build the fish tank first, maybe. What I'm kind of picturing is just something very small and like easy to put together. So like, something like this. with like glass in front, if possible. I don't know, hold on. Hold on, chat. Is this possible to make this into something? I think I can. I'm gonna have to put something here to stop the water though. That's the thing. That is the thing. The boys are loving Castle Panic board game right now. I'm gonna have to look that one up as well. Where anything that's like co-op is kind of like what me and my friends are looking for. Cause we play in a group of like two, four, like five of us, I think. You're playing uh, Terraforming Mars. Wingspan is on our list uh, to buy and try as well. I'm curious what you think once you play it. I will definitely let you know, Red. Cause I think one of my friends has it. 
Uh, they they just like kind of like jumped the gun and bought it because they they it's rated so highly. Okay, a fish tank. I just need an easy way to build a fish tank, but not have it like stick out too much. Hmm. Y'all ever unfocus your eyes and then have a hard time focusing them again? All the time. All the time. I feel like I do that on a regular basis. It's concerning. Escape the dark castle. Oh yeah, block down. You said that one's kind of like got D and D aspects where it's like choice based, right? Definitely need to try that one too. Signs. Ooh, we could try signs. Let's give that a shot. That could be kind of neat. Okay, I need water. Just one more water bucket. Will the chill survival world be downloadable one day? Yes, absolutely. That's one of the worlds I think I would like to get um, into a download for you all. I know I've said it like a thousand times that I'm working on it. It is on my list though. It's on my mental list to get that all for you. I've kind of um had a few setbacks with content and stuff I'm trying to get to you all. Solely because I think I just like, oops. Wait a second, what? The um, this is not gonna work the way I thought it would. Could I put signs here? Hold on a second. <gasps> no, that didn't work. <gasps> oh, oh, hold on a second. This might actually work, hold on. <laughs> this is a mess. I'm sure there's like another, a better way to do this. I don't know. I don't know. Water in Minecraft is the bane of my existence. I'm just gonna let it happen. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh yeah, we were gonna make it so two shops could look into the fish tank. The only problem with that is like, we would technically have this here. I don't wanna wreck this though. You know what I mean? I feel like having them separate is probably better. I wonder if just having like a bucket of fish just like swimming around here is like the solution, you know? It's not as cool though. That's the thing. Fish tank would be way cooler. I guess maybe what I could do is just have it like uh, ground level. I don't know. Let's see. We could literally just have like salmon floating in here, kind of like as if they're waiting to be like picked up. You know what I mean? Kind of like live lobster. So it wouldn't be like suspended in air. Hold on a second. Let me show you what I mean with actual fish. Glass would work, but the problem is glass sticks out. We're going to have to put it like it will stick out too much because I, I don't know if I want it out by two blocks. So I'm just like, I, that's why I'm kind of like hesitant to do it. I'm going to give this a shot, though. Bear with me for a second. Bucket of salmon. Because I don't think this would nece necessarily be a, a shop that sells like tropical fish. You know what I mean? So I think having like a couple salmon in like a little, just a little area where they'd be chilling until they get prepped would be what kind of makes sense, you know? Turn the floor into a fish tank. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hold on, let's try this out. Cause I don't want like anything too big. Kind of what I'm picturing is like a smaller tank. Like when you go to the store and you see lobsters. I kind of think I just like, I want something like this. I think this would kind of be more of a vibe. If you do that, they kind of just chill. Yeah, the, with building it into the wall, I, I don't I don't know if I want it anymore. I don't know. I kind of like 
I'm kind of vibing with the idea of having them just like chill in here instead. But I'm wondering if I could raise it by one. The glass panes though, I want to give that a shot really quickly because some of you mentioned the glass panes. Maybe it might work with the trap doors. You know what I mean? We could also make it in the corner too. That's true. The panes waterlog. See, that's what I was worried about because if they're not placed properly, right? We can't really put, we can't push back the wall behind it because there's already a shop in place though. That's the problem. So we can't really do that. Then there's only one glass coming out of each side. Yeah, I think maybe a corner one would be, is the trick. Ooh, iron bars could work as well. That's smart. Bamboo. You know what? I always forget bamboo exists. We should put some bamboo in here. I like that. Okay, hold on a second. Bear with me for a second, chat. We're going to try out the glass panes. Also, that like using jungle or bamboo would also be a vibe too. I think we're going to have to switch out the spruce. I like that. Do iron chains hold water? I don't know if they do. They might. The one thing I don't like is how this is floating here, but okay, I think we're getting here. I think maybe if I change these to like full blocks instead, then we could have a giant fish tank. You know what I mean? Okay, I've got it, I've got it. The puzzle, the puzzle is being solved. Also, I think like the bamboo trap doors would actually look kind of cool if we did that um, up top, though, to cover it. This is going to be a mess. This is going to be a mess. Just bear with me. I think this is the solution, though. Sorry, fish. They're like, what is going on, bro? What is going on? It's a little bit bigger than anticipated. We could do a two by two, actually. I feel like a two by two would be just as nice. Or a two by one, sorry. So instead of having these guys here, we could close it off. Like around, sorry, one, two, like this. You know? Break these guys, I don't need them anymore, it's fine. And then if you could scooch over, my dude. These fish are like, I'm gonna try to get out now. No, no. Oh no, please don't. Please don't do this to me, even though I did this to myself. Oh, he's in the corner, he's vibing. Okay, I think that's kind of cute. Then what we can do is I'm gonna take this guy out anyway. We're getting there. Close this off. Because we just don't need it anymore. I need some granite though. Or, ooh, what if we did like, um, some like kelp and stuff? We could put some kelp in there to make it look a little bit nicer. What would look good for like a little sea floor? Maybe some, actually just sand probably. Sand would look good. So let's get these guys. Gonna take this guy out, gets the axe out immediately. Just, just, just flashes the axe a little bit, you know? <laughs> no, 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 I would never, I would never. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would have felt so bad if I did that, honestly. Ooh, bright coral would be nice too. We actually have a ton in our inventory. Yeah, let's just do like a little, a little guy, you know? So let's get some coral. We should, honestly, if we didn't have this thing named Potato Peeler, I would name the axe this guy. I don't know why, that's such a good name for an axe. Okay, 
All right, let's get some aquatic things so we can get some coral and also so like some seagrass would be cute, I think. Sea pickles would be cute as well, but I don't I think we have a choice between two things cuz we only have two blocks now. But that's okay. All right. This is going to look good. Should I do it like too high maybe? Oops, whoops. <laughs> Placing glass, I swear, is the worst. Hold on. I'm going to need way more than that too. We're going to have to get some scaffolding out to do this properly. Or actually, let's just do let's just do one. I don't want it too high. Like I want it to I don't want it to be too big of a statement, you know? I just want it to be like just a little guy. Oh yeah, glass, sorry. Historically, you could use a mini ax as a potato peeler. There we go. How did we even come up with potato peeler as the name for the ax? I don't remember who did that because it was named by somebody in chat for sure. It had to have been. Oh wait, I already said I wasn't gonna do that, my bad. We need to get our water back, first of all. One, and then two. Because if I do this, the fish will have room, right? I think so. Or will they not because of the coral and stuff? Are we going to have to go too high instead? Oh, he's vibing. Look, he likes it. This guy too. Oh my gosh. They like it. Look at that. Amazing. Do you think we would benefit with too high or do, do you think we could maybe close this off? I feel like we could close it off. Amy, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Oh yeah, chat. We have been live for an hour already. Where's the time gone? Make sure you're hydrating and stuff. I'm going to sip some water. One high is fine. Yeah, I think so too. I'd like to close it off with like... I was going to say bamboo, but I actually think the granite scheme would be very nice. Like close it off with some granite slabs. Boop. Boop. Maybe all the way around too, eh? Oh, no. Look who it is. It's Big Tiny Duck. If it isn't the one and only Big Tiny Duck, also chat. Exclamation point. Is it second channel? I don't remember. But I'm going to be trying to get that VOD up. Uh, me playing Fortnite with Big Tiny Duck. I've got a great thumbnail for it. It's hilarious. I hope you all enjoy it. I put lots of work into it. <laughs> it's it's one of my best, I must say. Yeah, it is a statement piece. At the same time, I'm like, I don't I don't know. I kind of like it too high. So then we could I think it's going to look a little bit different once we put up the um the ceiling cuz we can't forget that we're going to have a, a ceiling on this guy too, right? So it's probably going to go up to here because I want this to be proper flooring. Which I have to figure out. I don't know what I want for the, the ceiling. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, we do need some type of ceiling for now. How would jungle look? I've been kind of vibing with the jungle ceiling for um, for some of these builds. Maybe you could benefit with some greenery. Oh yeah, definitely. This is just the, we've just got um, the shell of this build kind of started. We still have a lot more to put in. Once it's all kind of like put together, I think we're going to be we're going to be adding a lot of detail to this. We're just kind of getting like the foundations for now. Let me get some slabbies.
Love your chill survival series. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you're all vibing with that series. I've been having so much fun, especially because like I feel like we're at a point now where we've made like we're starting to make progress that's making it easier to survive on that base, if you know what I mean. Um, so we got like the villager hut uh, this week. I am spoiler alert working on an iron farm. Yes, finally. So we've got like a lot of projects that are really going to benefit us. Um, for projects to come. So I think I think we're in a good spot right now with that series and I've just been having so much fun with those episodes. They're just like so fun to put together. And like I said, I would love to start streaming on it again. It's just I got to um I got to do I've got to wait till the right time cuz otherwise you all are going to see too many spoilers with it. Two end rods sideways to re replicate the tube light uh, look you get in those restaurant fish tanks. Ooh, that's a good idea. Where can we fit those? Where can we fit those? The problem is, see, I, I wish this was just a bit bigger of a space. Maybe on the sides here or something. Let's try that. I was rewatching the stream on Saturday on Twitch, and I think it's hilarious that I was also making trailer trash, sp trash spaghetti the same way BTD was saying, except I add red pepper flakes. Holy, we, okay, I think, BTD, did you add red pepper flakes to the last batch too? Cause she usually adds those as well. That is so funny. It's such a staple though. You can't go wrong with some like butter noodles and vegetables, you know? What's my favorite build in Chill Survival? Honestly, I don't know. I think one of my favorites is the portal build, even though we don't visit it a lot. Um, but I also love the wolf farm that we just put in. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, I would say for that one. Okay, top three. Wolf farm, ta the tower, the portal tower, and also I love the farmland. The farmland made the biggest difference. I feel like the farmland kind of like concluded the first part of that series, if that makes sense and kind of brought us into a new era on the chill survival. I feel like that was kind of like the bookend to like, if th if there were seasons in chill survival, it would be, that would be season one ending. And now we're kind of like in the season two phase of it. Just cause it made such a drastic change to the base. Um, it's kind of how I feel about it. Ooh, you know what would look good? Maybe some redstone lamps on that build. Above the tank, uh, under the slabs. Ooh, we could try that too. Remove the slab in the back and add the end rod. Okay, Oh, that's a good idea. So it's kind of like concealed, right, Lisa? That's a good idea, okay. I'm liking this. Can it be that you forgot uh, one red shulker? The red shulker's right here. I took it one day because I needed it and I haven't returned it yet. I've been good with it though. I've been good with it. I've been or keeping things organized. Before stream today, I was organizing my storage. You all would have been very, very proud. Wait, the bots left the chat? The stream elements bot? Oh no. Azzy, I think we're gonna... Okay, I think we're gonna... We might have to switch to night bot. We had it on here before a long time ago before we moved to Twitch. And honestly, I don't think it ever caused us any issues. So I think um, we're going to have to have some chats this week and maybe we'll move things over because it is uh, it's having some issues lately. All right, I'm going to try these two very wonderful suggestions. I think that's it, though. I'm like, should I try to add like... Can't really add anything over top of it, though. I think that's kind of cute. You can't really see it from behind, but it does legitimately add light. And I just love knowing that it's there because that literally looks like a fluorescent light. It's so cool. I love that. You can kind of see it in certain spots and it emits just like that perfect glow. GG's on that. Uh, Lisa and Jody, those were really good ideas. All right, let's get this stuff put away. And I'm going to keep kind of adding some stuff to this little area. So we got nets. We're going to use cobwebs as nets. 
We're gonna need some spruce fencing, and I need the copper that I was using. Although I'm unsure where I put that. Because I'm already making a mess of my inventory. The copper's here for the table. But I need the copper... Did I accidentally break it? Oh no, here it is, the block of copper. Perfect. Reaper Kitty! So nice to see you. You're liking how Cat Town is turning out? Oh heck yeah. I'm, I think it looks really funny so far. Really funny in a good way. It's looking really, really cool. So I'm glad you're enjoying it too. We'll get like a bucket of fish here. Or actually maybe like next to it. Like this. Barrel of fish. And then... I feel like we could still fit the table here. We just need something in this corner though. I'm wondering if we do like... The netting idea, just like... That doesn't really look like anything, does it? It doesn't. <laughs> Hold on a second. Shears. I don't know where I put my shears. Chat, I'm, I always have a hard time seeing my shears. I think they legitimately might not be in my inventory right now, though. Dreamscape, welcome on in. How you doing? It's nice to see ya. Yes, the pressure plate for sure, for the cutting board. Ah, yes, yes. Put the dead next to the living. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Honestly, I feel like a small light fixture or like chains or something might just be good in that corner. I don't want to overdo it with stuff. Maybe we could do a little shelving unit where you would put your tools and stuff, you know? I feel like that would be kind of cool. Shears, I'm just going to make new ones because I just genuinely don't know what happened to them. I think shelving units here would be cool. So maybe what we could do is... Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to climb up there. And then we could just have like a couple like chests or something. Problem is this little guy right here. We might have to actually put another piece of uh, granite here to close this off a little bit. Do, do, do. Can I have like a chest in there? Maybe a barrel or something. Barrel can go up in here. Really realistically, we could just do like barrels across too if we wanted, actually. Kind of close off the space a little bit. Problem is we can't get a trap door underneath that. So that's kind of like a downside. That's okay though. <laughs> yeah, it's just so the fish can see what's gonna happen next, you know? It's just to give them an idea of where this is all going. <laughs> oh, geez, chat. Oh, geez. Love this community so much. Oh, you know what? I say this every day where I'm like, chat, you're all the best. You all make this community so like wel welcoming and cozy for everybody. And I just like, I appreciate that so much. I just like genuinely have so much fun streaming with you all too. Getting a little cheesy. We always do though. That's how we do things here. But I just, I genuinely just appreciate all of you. The vibes are always immaculate. I wonder if we could do like, oh yeah, like a little shelving like this on this side as well. And then we could hang lanterns from those ones or something. Even though we do have the glow of the fluorescent lights. Also do something like that. We're getting there. I feel like also having bamboo as like displays along here would be cool too. That always looks good. And then the table for the prep.
Mm. Should the prep table go in the middle now? Since we are kind of running low on space. This could just be like another little like shelving area too or something, you know? Nautilus shell, yes, absolutely. That's such a good idea. I did bring some with me too. Love it. Okay, perfect. So I need, I need my dirt. There we go. I have a lot of stuff kind of building up in here, but we'll use it all. Mm, let's try this. Just want to see what it would look like if the prep table was like kind of in the middle of the room, if that makes sense. I don't know if it would be like too much. This could also be like a prep table slash like countertop for the work area. You know what I mean? So you have it like this. The size of the shop then is pretty much like this is for customers. And then this area is um, designated obviously for the worker. Whoops. Let's get rid of that guy. And then let's like do a full copper block here if I can. Mm. Just do full like that. You know what I mean? I think that looks kind of cute. We could also pull this back by like one more to give us one more block uh, to work with. The cats are going crazy right now. They're absolutely going wild. Something like that is cute, I think. I think that looks good. So then this is like a little workstation. This is the little shop front. Um, we could have like a little shelving unit back here with all of the stuff, item frames. I think this is coming together. Yeah, this makes this layout makes sense to me. Probably just like get rid of this guy. We can have like two tables here. But yeah, we could run some more slabs across too. I think we, I think that's actually a good idea because I want to add some more lights. Bamboo drying racks item frame on top with a fish on it. Ooh, made of bamboo though? Like the, um, like, are you talking about like bamboo trap doors? Cause that could look really cool too. I feel like we do need to integrate bamboo into this somehow. Also, Artie, welcome on in. So nice to see you. I hope you're having a great day. What food do I order tonight? Oh, that's a good question. What are you craving? If it were me, if I were ordering food tonight, I think I'd get some pizza, to be honest. I would definitely get some pizza. That or shawarma, because I always want shawarma. It is delicious. I had the exact same problem yesterday. My shears literally disappeared or something. I swear it's one of those things where like I genuinely can't see them in my inventory or I just put them away without noticing. And then I'm like frantically searching for them forever. I don't know what it is about shears. They're like the invisible item to me. What do you make the hole inside for workers and use the window as where people order? Oh, that's a very good idea. Oh, I like that. I feel like we could get away with that with like how we're still decorating this. Cause this could just be like the prep workstation. And then we could just build out a little counter here. That is such a good idea. We should just leave this open concept. So if we're leaving this open concept though, what I would do. I wonder if I would like either iron bars or glass and maybe like a bamboo trap door that's like swung open, if that makes sense, you know? So something like that with this like um, little shield for like the top of the window and then we could have like two bamboo trap doors. Yeah, we gotta get a trap door for the entrance. Oh, I'm wishing, I'm wishing we had the new update right now for that reason. So we could get the copper trap doors. We can make one out of bamboo or something, but in the meantime, we'll just use this. Let me go get some bamboo though, because we're going to need this for a bunch of stuff we're doing.
We need more end light kind of material. It's such a cool light source. Very ethereal. Yeah, I love I love the end light. It's also very it works very well for like more industrial builds. We should get a few more for sure. I feel like in a fish shop where you're like working on stuff, you're prepping food. I feel like you need better light. So I need to add a couple more. You're playing Minecraft and building a cafe. Nice. Cafes are always so, so fun to build. Very, very cozy. I love building shops because I find it's just like such a test on how to like make, I don't know, how to make things out of random blocks. I have the perfect idea for a mob to work behind the counter, but I'm not sure how many spawn around that area. You have to use honey blocks and carpets so they don't jump out. What is it? Is it slimes or something? What is it? How do I make trap doors out of these guys? Is it like this? Or do I have to put this down? Strip it. Bamboo is a lovely material, but is the, it's like a long process to make stuff with it. A blue carpet order line. Oh my God, yeah, we could have like a queue for it. How do you make a trap door? Did I do this wrong? Oh, huh? bamboo. Oh. Oh, what? So I have to use, oh, I have to use this. I see, wow, this is a, this is a whole process, isn't it? Do you want pizza because BTD keeps shooting you down? Yep. That's essentially it. I I still have the craving and I will have the craving until I get the pizza, you know? Keep thinking your cat wants food because he's so similar to the uh, Minecraft cat sounds. Me too. It I always think Ruth is like next to me. I always uh, wanted to live above a pizza shop or a cafe. Oh my gosh. Why is this such a thing? This is such a thing because, okay, we, our dream was to live above a cafe as well. We ended up living above like a convenience store um, at our old place, which is like really, the people were really nice. And also it was, uh, it, as it, as, uh, then it, as it's in the name, it was convenient. It was very convenient. Um. It rocked. I loved it. Not quite a cafe, but you know what? We ended up having a cafe close by that opened up. It was awesome. But alas, we moved. I will say as long as it's like a nice, a nice place, it's, it's actually super, super nice and handy to have like cafes and stuff right underneath. Yeah, it rocks. I really like the bamboo trap doors for like, even though they don't function the way that they should, but like the idea that they're open uh, for like business and stuff. We'll break these though. We won't need those anymore. Oops. We can just do this. And then this will be like the table where people can receive the order. We'll need like a little table here too then. You know? I kind of wish I had invisible item frames on this. I think it's looking good. I think adding shops to uh, the place feels lived in, makes it feel more lived in and real. Totally agree. Totally agree. It just gives so much life. I, th I have like a bunch of like builds right now that don't really have interiors yet. And I think it makes the biggest difference for sure. We're getting there though. I think this is starting to come together. Have I ever had gumbo? I have actually. It's delicious. I, I loved it. I would love to have it again someday. I haven't... It's not very common at restaurants in Toronto, but I feel like, I don't know if I would be good at making it though. I would love to try it, try to make it at least. It's a very, very good food though. 
Ideally, I'd live above a Costco or a Target, honestly. Everything you need right there. All right, what was I doing, chat? What was I doing? So we need to get the trap door there. Oh, we still have a bamboo one we could do for that. I used to live directly above a nice little cafe. Way too much coffee in my life. The, they didn't open it early enough for me to get uh, one on the way to work. But on the way home, it was all good. Yes, I... Okay. They... Oh, actually, the one across um, from us... They, they ended up, I think, opening pretty early. And I was able to grab one before work sometimes. But it was more so on, a, on my day off. If I had a chance to sleep in, I would always go down there. I get a croissant. I get an iced latte. Oh my gosh, chat. It was so good. I miss that. I really do miss that. It's just like such a nice treat, you know? Okay, I really think this is uh, starting to come together. Oh, I forgot to finish this off too. Haha. -ha. There we go. Cute. Kinetics, welcome on in. How you doing? It's so nice to see ya. Hope you're having a good one. Have you seen the increase in horror mod pack Let's Plays? I've seen a bunch of like 100 days, not um Let's Play style ones, but I mean, I'm all for that. I think those mod packs, I've never tried them. I feel like they'd be super fun though. I love seeing people, like, exploring different mods like that. There's some, like, very, like, I mean, there's just so many good ones. It's like, the opportunities are endless with Minecraft. That's a thing, right? We need to get that, um, netting in still. The cobweb. I feel like we could fit some of it in over here on, like, the shelf or something. And we could do, like, a chest here. Maybe a couple of barrels. Wonder if I should just replace this with barrels, you know? Like that. And then a couple of like spruce trap doors here. Yeah, this is coming together. Instead of a spruce trap door here, though, we might have to change that to, like, a spruce stair. Just so it doesn't look like it's floating. It looks more grounded. You know what I mean? I think this is coming together, though. I feel like also in this corner, though, I might get rid of this one. Because I think I want to try to add another one of those, like, fluorescent lights above the top here. I think that would look kind of cool. We could have a storage bin facing this. Oops, not that way. This way instead. And then, like, the fluorescent light in between. The one thing that kind of stinks, though, is it works so well if you have two. Because they connect so perfectly. If You can't really have three in a row, which kind of stinks. I wonder if there's, like, some way I could go about this. Maybe you could place the ice blocks and put item frames with the fish on top of them to be fish on ice. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that. Ooh, I don't know if I have any ice blocks. I'm gonna have to go check. That's a really, really cool suggestion. Especially if we, um, hear me out. Hold on, let me go get some more rockets first. I might have some ice blocks at home. Like, what if we put like the ice in barrels too or something to like kind of conceal them? There's a place in the beaches that makes great gumbo. Wait, we talking Toronto beaches? Are we talking Toronto beach beaches? Because if so, if you want to share that restaurant with me, please, I will write it down and I will go to the beaches to have gumbo. That would be incredible. 
I would be so, so happy. That's the thing about Toronto, though, is like we have so much access to amazing food. Like, even though I may not know of a good place that has it, like the chances are there probably is a restaurant that exists that sells something that I would want. Gonna make a couple more rockets. Just in case. Enzo, wel welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Um, what were we gonna do again? Oh yeah. The ice blocks. So we are working on a um a fish shop today in our cat city in our stream world. Nautilus shell de decoration and ship painting. Wait, is there a ship painting in Minecraft? Is there? I didn't know. Which size is it? Upper Beach is Bourbon House. I'm literally going to write that down right now. I appreciate that uh, recommendation. I will definitely check it out. Upper Beach is Bourbon house thank you oh my gosh yo 4.7 review uh stars you know it's a gooder you know it's a gooder oh this place looks amazing thank you so much for this recommendation i appreciate it there's also a new orleans style place in the beaches as well if you want to drop that please love the rex always looking for new places to eat in toronto honestly um, ice block. That's what we were going to get. The perfect mob to work me on the counter was a drowned, hence the need to stop them escaping just to know how many spawn nearby. Oh my gosh, Azzy. If that wasn't literally the task of a lifetime, I actually would. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, I've got light blue glass. I mean, this could technically look like ice, but I feel like we got to get the real thing, you know? I'm very close to icebergs. I could just go get one easily, you know? I think I've got to sleep first, though. I need to start putting beds around this base again because I keep doing that and then I break the bed to use it somewhere else. And that's just so counterproductive. Tired, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a great Monday. Hope you're not too tired, though. So one by three or large? Okay, I'm gonna test it out. We have some walls we could definitely get those on. Also chat, if you're enjoying the stream, hit that like button. It really, really helps out streams on YouTube. Very much appreciate it. If you're enjoying it, of course. All right, let's fly over to the um, all these icicles over here very quickly. Gather up some ice. It shouldn't melt, right? It's called New Orleans Seafood and Steakhouse. I'm in the city too. My boyfriend and I are major foodies, so I've got endless recommendations. Oh my God, thank you so much. I'm writing that one down as well. Okay, have you been to... Uh, this is a specific question for you, Tuesday. Have you been to... Um, I, I don't know if it's called Bernard's or Bernard's in the West End by uh, Ossington. Bernie's? Bernie's Tavern, it's chicken. Basically, it's, the place sells like whole chicken with French fries, but also they like their um, seasonal vegetables are some of the best I've ever had. That place is a treat. It's hard. You got to book the Rezzo very, very far in advance, though, because it fills up very, very quickly. Um, but if you're looking for some really good chicken and fries, you gotta go there. So, so good. I'm gonna try to get this ice as well. I don't know what the difference between just packed ice and I think it's called, is it called blue ice? No, 
Not related beyond great places to eat in Toronto. My girlfriend and I went to a snack bar called 416 when I was there in November. Super cozy. Yo, 416. Yes, I... Okay, I have like walked by that countless times it's always bumping i've actually never been myself though i've heard um really good things about it though i think um btd's like one of her friends went there recently and they told us to go as well and, and it's on our list for sure i heard it's like super cozy I'll definitely had, have to add that to the list, though, because I'm always looking for just, like, nice little spots to have, like, good cocktails, some, like, good eats, you know what I mean? Just thought it would be a great deco for the outer wall that you haven't started to decorate yet and doesn't take up any space. Yes, exactly. I feel like that wall on the left has to be blank, except for, um, paintings, because we don't really want to take up too much space. If you use packed ice, it won't melt. Okay, perfect. We got lots of that. First time I had gumbo when I was when I discovered that I am in fact allergic to alligator. Honestly, that <laughs> I don't know what instance, especially because I'm from Canada. Like I probably would have no idea if I was allergic to alligator until in fact I tried it in a gumbo or something. I hope you didn't have severe symptoms though. That would be so scary. The more you know. Blue ice is more slippery. So is that why they use blue ice on like the nether highways and stuff? Just so you move faster? Ah, uh, High Park. High Park is such a beautiful area. Such a beautiful area. It's so good. I'm, oh my God, I'm so glad that you know what Bernie's is. Ugh, that place is such a treat. I feel like that's honestly one of my favorite restaurants in the city purely i mean the chicken's amazing but the the vegetables are like unlike any other vegetable i've ever had it's wild when we um when blockdown and his uh fiance came to visit us we took them there and literally they still talk about it which makes me so happy I feel like we could get a couple of these like packed ice um, outside here as well to kind of like show the fish. Maybe actually like right here. Yeah. Blue ice can be used to make basalt. Wait, what? How? Huh? I need to look at this basalt. How? Huh? 416 is awesome. They have a great oyster selection and craft cocktails. Okay, now you you have compelled me to go because the amount of times I've walked by there being like, that place looks really nice and cozy and like I've heard good things. It's just one of those things where it's like, the thing with Toronto is sometimes you almost have too many options. You know what I mean? Like there's so many places you want to try, so many places you want to go to, but it's hard to get to all of them because it's just like almost we're blessed with too many options here it's now on my list though you don't have a severe allergy just makes me incredibly itchy and swollen oh still super uncomfortable and also you, it's one of those things where you still have to be careful because uh with those types of allergies and stuff they could get worse over time right where like you may not have like a bad symptom to begin with but then they can just like escalate the next time it's gonna get a little bit more salmon can't imagine welcome on in so nice to see you. i hope you're having a great monday i'm gonna grab some of this salmon over here just a couple more We sell alligator dog treats at my store and I can handle them fine since I'm not, it's not just gator, I guess, but I'm so traumatized by that experience. I'm still scared to eat gumbo. Oh no, I get that. It's just one of those things. Even if you know that the gumbo that you're going to consume doesn't have alligator in it, it you're just, it, it's just a scary experience. You're like, I just don't even want to anymore. 
I wonder if it's also like with the alligator, it's like you can handle the dog treats because they're dried out and maybe the component you're allergic to is kind of like when it's, I don't know, when it's, once it's dried, it's like fine. Sometimes food's weird like that, you know? Got a little, little bit of fish here and there. There we go. And there we go. Love it. The on ice idea is so, so great. I love that. All right, we need some paintings on this wall. And then I want to try to do the fluorescent lights again, maybe. I kind of have an idea of what I can do to make this work a bit, though. Oh, the lava hits the blue ice. I see. I see. Okay, so you don't craft it. I like how I, I immediately thought, like, oh, you have to craft it. I was like, how does that work? Bluebird, Bluebird on Dundas West is a great cocktail and charcuterie board. Yeah, I need to hit you up with some more recs too, like Kinet Kinetic said. I need some more like Toronto recommendations. I'm always, I'm always looking for new spots, honestly. We have like the classics that we go to, but um, I'm always looking for some new stuff that I haven't tried yet. There's like this one place I really want to go to in the city. They do like, I'm not even kidding. It's like a hundred layer lasagna or something. I've seen it on, um, a couple of my friends have posted on Instagram. I think it starts with a P. Porzias, P-O-R-Z-I-A-S lasagna. And it's literally like a hundred layers of lasagna sheets. And it looks absolutely delicious. I really want to try that. Uh, let's get this. You can't have anything with artificial strawberries or real strawberries. You're allergic to that. Oh, that's a tricky one, too. It is wild how, like, with food, like, you have to be so careful with food allergies just because sometimes there's just, like, little sneaky things in food. Even, like, artificial strawberry. That could honestly be in so many things. Luckily, I don't think I have any allergies. I mean, I know you can also develop them over time, too. Like, I've had some friends where, like, they were not allergic to anything like fish. But then, like, over time, they got, like, a fish allergy, when like, later in life. And I think that's so scary. Just one day out of the blue. Can't eat shellfish anymore. You can have alligator in Banff, Alberta at the Grizzly House. Honestly, I... I think it was maybe Big Tiny Duck she had alligator when she was in New Orleans. And I think she said, like, literally it does just taste like chicken. I think so. I have to double check with her. At least somebody I know who has had it when they were in New Orleans. And they were like, literally, it just, it's good. It tastes like chicken. I don't know if all gumbo has ga alligator in it though, Gloud. I, I think maybe it depends on the type or is it a thing where most gumbo does? I might be wrong if somebody wants to correct me. Can you get frozen blue cheese filled alligator ice lollies? I think that would send me into a spiral if I had to eat that. <laughs> uh, oh, stream elements. So nice to see you. Oh, yeah, where you been? Just took an extended break, you know? Just had to, just had to go to... Go uh, put some laundry in. <laughs> Kinetics, thank you so much for the three months, three month channel membership. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, snap. Here's to more months of Minecraft and meal talk. Literally, we always get on the topic of meals. Of course. Of course. Thank you so much. Can I get some big, big swags in chat for Kinetics? I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Eating fruit snacks scares the daylights out of me because that's how I found out I was allergic to artificial uh, strawberries. No, those are one of like, like we were talking about before. That's something where I'd be like, I'm just not going to eat that anymore. It's not worth it. Unfortunately, because fruit snacks are delicious. I have my plan session for tomorrow. Just unsure how to end the session thinking a card trick. Wait, what? Wait, which session?
New Orleans is pro pronounced Nolens. Did I say it right? Nolens? Yeah, I think it depends on the type of gumbo. Like, what will contain it and what won't. I like hang some chains in here, you know? This is really coming together, chat. I really like it. We just need to get the, like, I want to get the ship. Lisa, you said it was a large one, right? The painting. And also I want to get like the Nautilus shell, maybe like a fishing rod or something in there. I feel like this one took actually way less time than the, uh, the plant shop did. Yes, uh, writer, there is a Discord. I Okay, thank you for reminding me. I need to fix up that link. Uh, a lot of them broke recently. I don't know why. It was really bizarre. But um, I'll get that link fixed up on Twitch. I think... Azzy, thank you so much for linking it. I think that one works now, though. I think we're all good with it. Oh, one thing I forgot. Before we, like, finish up, like, everything, do the painting, I want to get a smoker in here. How do I make those? Furnace and logs, of course. Of course, of course. Just need to make... Eh, I'm not really using this one. Smoker. My family's from Louisiana and never had gumbo with alligator, only chicken and sausage or seafood. Interesting. I wonder if it's just like a. I guess like I guess maybe like depending on who who made it and whatnot. Very interesting. Ooh, that looks like a hang. Ooh, this was unintentional. That looks like it's like supporting the uh, the shelf. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. All right. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to fit the painting there. Then I'm gonna have to put the painting. I can move these guys. Like here. Could do three in a row. Let's do the shell, the puffer fish, and then another one here. And then hopefully the painting could fit there. Daryl from the office developed a soy allergy. So weird. I wonder what like triggers that. Or if it's like you consume too much or like, who knows? One day your body just like kind of rejects it. Ooh, an, or an armor stand uh, holding up the fishing rod is a good idea too. I like that. Okay, I need to figure out the painting first. I need to get some wool. The ghost of ShamWow. Listen, it was a it was an accident. Accidents happen, okay? I didn't realize that hitting the sheep would or no, it was a pig, sorry. Hitting the pig would just cause immediate immediate death. Things are looking fishy. I love this shop. I think it's looking super cute. I actually really love the flooring too. I'm gonna look up the Minecraft ship painting. Can't find it. I just see like paintings of ships. Minecraft painting in game ship. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Hold on a second. G uh, Gator does taste like chicken. If I'm remembering that I, um, I get I get, in fact, have alligator at the Grizzly House. We've only been there three times because it's very expensive dinner, but it's amazing. Honestly, I, I'd try. I would easily try alligator. I feel like I'd like it. 
I feel like this kind of looks like a lighthouse. You know what I mean? This has like old timey ship vibes. Do something like that. If I develop a pasta allergy, I'll die. If I ever became allergic to like gluten and stuff, one of our uh, friends got a gluten intolerance like way later in life. And I just feel so bad. It kind of just like crept up in her 20s, I think. Like she was totally fine before that. And like now she has like a very severe intolerance to gluten. Like I'm talking very, very sick. It's brutal. There, I think that's cute. Uh, have you heard about the allergy you can get from badly done acrylic nails? What? No, what do you become allergic to? Also, do you like sushi? Yes, I love sushi. Sushi is fantastic. Honestly, I would eat it more if I could. It's just kind of expensive. But whenever I get the option to, I, I will get sushi. I think we're like nearly done with this chat. I just need like um something for the entrance here. Maybe more spruce fencing, perhaps. And then we could get some trap doors. I just want to keep it kind of simple. It's looking really good though. I'm very happy with that one. Something like that. We can get some posts here as well, just to add a little bit more like lighting options and stuff. I think this is looking super cute though. There's a card trick where a person shuffles, deals 21 cards out of the 21 cards. Then they shuffle, you deal, and then down to three piles. They tell me which pile their card is in each time shuffling the deck and I find the card behind your back. So you're doing a, a magic trick. You're essentially doing a magic trick. I've never understood how people do that, Toots. I've never understood it. I mean, I guess that's the magic of it. That is the magic of a magic trick, because guess what? Most people don't know how it's done. And I'm one of those people. I'm always like, huh? How'd you do that? What's going on? Card tricks baffle me. Me too, Azzy. Literally. I am so perplexed by them, and I know like there's logic to them. But like I said, I don't understand that logic. So what's going on, you know? My husband got celiac in his late 20s and is still bitter about it. Oh, no, I totally understand being bitter about it. Our friend, like, I mean, she's had to make so many adjustments to her life, right? But thankfully, like, over time, I find that especially with, like, gluten and stuff, gluten-free options, um, have they've gotten a lot better. I know, um, like, we've had gluten-free pasta noodles, and honestly, some of them I almost prefer than uh, some of the regular grocery store ones that we get here like some of the cheaper grocery store ones that we buy like i find even those kind of like sit in my stomach and just weigh so heavy that they make me feel sick sometimes and the gluten-free ones i'm like oh these are kind of nice i think they're like the uh are they rice based or something i don't remember but they're really good i'm just thankful uh there have been more alternatives as of late for your gluten intolerance no exactly exactly there's just so many more options now. Uh, I need to sleepies and I also need more lanterns. I should probably go see the villagers really quickly. Should put Jess at the door and get the cat to sit on it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely we can. Can cats sit on these? We can have a cat just just waiting for store open. We need to put operating hours on a sign out here. Hours of operation. Listen, cats, if you want, if you want the sweet, sweet fish, you have to wait. You have to wait, okay? You have to be patient. The workers are hard at work getting you the goods, but you also gotta be patient.
Burnt my potatoes and now my kitchen's full of smoke and I can't reach the window because I'm five feet tall. Looks like I'm ordering food. No, that's the worst. I almost had a kitchen disaster the other night. I was trying to cook. I cooked a creamy pasta. It ended up fine, but like for some reason I was convinced. I was like, this is not going to turn into anything. It's going to be awful. It basically ended up tasting like salsa pasta, so it wasn't great. I've got to be honest. It wasn't my best, but I th that was my first time really trying out a cream sauce. At least I reduced the cream well, so it was actually like it coated the noodles fine. It's just the flavor wasn't great. I just feel like a salsa pasta is not necessarily what you want. What you would want anyway. It was mid. I was a little sad, but I have faith I can make a cream sauce now. So that's great. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I wanted signs. Also, we got new fire alarms and I don't know if it's just because they're new. They're so sensitive, but like sensitive to heat, not smoke. It's really bizarre. So if we're like cooking up a storm on our stove, the, you know, like the, uh, the smoke's going everywhere, the steam from all of the, uh, all of the vegetables cooking, nothing. Smoke alarm is like silent. It's like snoring. It's like, oh, shh, shh. but as soon as we like have the oven at a high temp, that thing wakes up and it's like, ah, and just like screaming. It's so loud. And then poor Ruth gets scared, of course, because she's a cat. Of course, she's going to be scared of that. Poor little thing. It's brutal, chat. Like, I'm glad it works, but at the same time, I'm like, why is it so loud? I don't understand. I think I want... Actually, yeah, let's do spruce. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this. We're gonna have to do a hanging sign too. Cause I wanna get like I wanna name the shops as well. But we gotta have hours of operation. I'd say nine o'clock to four o'clock PM is a respectable time for a shop to be open, you know? What about the plant shop? What I feel like that's more like a 10, 10 to 6 type vibe, you know? That one's more 10 to 6. I'm just making these things up from my brain, but hey. Hours of operation. Nice. Love it. Ooh, dawn to dusk. Okay, yeah, because when would a... I feel like nine makes sense for a fish shop. I know we're talking about a fish shop in a video game, but like my reasoning, I'm like, they got a fish in the morning, right? And then by nine o'clock, they've got the goods. And then 4 p.m., they wrap things up. They sell out of all their stock. It's very busy. Very, very busy. And then they do it all again, you know? Maybe do some evening fishing, some Stardew vibes, you know? Something like that. You can develop an allergy to uh, acrylates, which basically means you're allergic to pretty much anything plastic. What? That's scary. That's wild. I wonder what's causing that. All right. Um, should we do a quick little, let's do a quick little tour of this and then we'll take a break for sure. Azzy, thank you so, so much for pointing that out. We've been live for two hours. So here's our little fish shop. We got our smoked fish selection. Uh, we've got a wall of all of like the prized fish. We don't really sell these typically. Um, these are usually sold. These are by request only because they're hard to get, you know? So these are a little bit more expensive. They're framed, but we could put in an order for them. Um, these are all of our fish that we sell on ice. Very, very nice selection. We've got some live salmon here, if that's your thing as well. Uh, this is our prep station. It's cleaned every single night. Well, it's it's cleaned in between every single... Every time we prep a fish, that's that gets cleaned. So, you know, this is very, very much... Uh, 
very, very uh, good, good health wise. Uh, actually, let me just do something really quickly. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, close on Sundays. So true. So true. I wish I had another sign for that. So, just so you all know, these are tish like tissues, paper towels. That's what we use to wipe down the counters here. That's why they're also metal because it's more sanitary to uh, prep the food on there. We don't we don't uh, we don't do any like wood or anything like that. It absorbs the germs. So we to properly wipe things down, we have a uh, disinfectant with our paper towel and we wipe it down on metal surfaces. Very very safe. Um, actually. Just to prove that we are safe, this is our certification. Um, health and safety approve. Health and safety approved. They got the seal of approval here. That's uh, to prove it when you walk in on the door, you know, when you walk into a place and they have to have that. The guidelines there it's approved and it's all good to go so we have stuff on ice it's properly refrigerated this one's going out the door anyway you know that's just somebody's busy they're they're working away here they're they're prepping the fish to give to the fish look at all the customers look at all the customers you know honestly i feel like even though it might be a conflict of interest we probably should get a fit not a fish we should get a uh, a cat in here to work the desk i think they can be trusted they might eat like a couple it's like might sneak a couple little little snacks along the way, but that's okay. They deserve it. They get they get an employee's discount here. I feel like that's we'll move one of these cats in and name it. And uh that will be the cat that that runs the desk. It'll be the YouTube cat. Don't fishermen get up mad early to catch fish? Oh yeah, don't they get up at like 3 a.m. or something? Where's the sink? Oh, you're so right. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Why do we not have running water here? Oh my gosh, I'm panicking. I need a cauldron. I need a cauldron! <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, I was like, I feel like I'm kind of forgetting something. Water. I need water. Stat. Yeah, no, here we only use, um, we use wet wipes. <laughs> Temporarily, though. I'm installing, uh, I'm installing a sink right now. Sorry about that. But, uh, for the, for the meantime, we were just using wet wipes. But it's still, it's still so sanitary. Don't worry. Yeah, we gotta set up the kitties as well, in line. We'll move a couple over. Who among us doesn't eat while cooking? Like testing things out? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, you gotta make sure like the product's good. You have to test it. You gotta make sure everything's good. All right, I just need a hook and then we're good. Can M&M run the fish shop? Absolutely, Lisa, absolutely. We will move M&M over into the fish shop and then we will, of course, um, still name a fish today. We will still name a fish. Uh, I think that is adventure loot is where my tripwire hooks are. Apparently not. How do you make one? Can you only find them? No, that would be silly. Iron, stick, wood. Easy. Tripwire. Whee! feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, still hasn't gone on break. Soon, 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 soon. Oh yeah, tasting as you cook, you have to. But then the problem is, I feel like this is very common amongst people who cook. Um, You just don't want to eat your meal after because you're just like kind of sick of, you've already basically eaten it, but in like short steps along the way, you know? All right, chat. So I think this is a really good time for us to take a quick little break. Um. Let's all stretch our legs, grab a snack if you have to, go get some water, all of that good stuff, and we will be back. And when we get back, we will move Lisa's cat over as well as name a new cat. All right, BRB chat, go take a stretch your legs and all that stuff too.
Hello. I am back. I was just checking up on Ruth. I got a banana, which I'm almost done because it was very, very tiny. Okay. So, first things first. Let's move Lisa's cat over. Eminem. Uh, here we go. Got the lead. Let's go get Eminem. The fish shop looks great, Drift. Can't wait to see what you do next. Aw, thank you so much, that one person. I appreciate it. I really love how it turned out. And thank you all, everybody, for, like, all the suggestions. I think it all came together perfectly. Oops. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Banana. I am just a minion. I am a minion. I feel like... We've got, like, so we can actually see Eminem. We gotta get something that, um... Because you can't sit on a cutting board. That's not sanitary, Eminem. You can't do that. That's not good. You need, like, a little spot. Maybe we can put him on, like, a little chair or something, you know? Let's do, like, a little granite stair. Rambo, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, can I just shuffle you over there? Come on. Come on. Come on. You're just like sliding around. Come on. There we go. There, that that's better. Wait a second. It's not perfect though. We could do better. Eminem? There. There we go. Okay. Eminem, you are now in charge of running this shop. You're in charge of the food prep. Don't listen. We've got to we've got to make some good sales. So you can obviously have like a snack if you're hungry. Of course. Of course. Like feel free to take stuff, but don't eat too much, okay? First of all, you might get a little sick. You might get a little sick if you eat too much. And second of all, we got we still got to make some sales here, buddy. Still got to make some sales, okay? So you you be good. Don't get into trouble. Don't eat I see you eyeing those fish. Stop it. Don't do that. Those are those are unreserved for somebody already, okay? Can I trust you? I'm going to trust you now. Bro, that cat's going to eat everything. He sits on the counter by the sink when he wants water. It's perfect. It's perfection then. <laughs> I love that. All right, chat. We have a big decision to make now. We have another cat that we've got to name. I'm thinking the YouTube cat. I'm, I'm feeling this one. The The calicos are off limits because I uh, am going to name them all a nickname of Ruth's. So we're just going to have thousands of Ruth's in this world. This one needs to be named. Now, my question is, can you please all just toss down? Don't spam. Put your name, put a name suggestion down, and I will pick a couple for a poll. So, just drop a name down, and if I pick it, it'll go into the poll, and then we will all choose from there. And that will help us name the next cat in this world. La I see, yeah, I see yours, Len, Latte. So, everybody, drop down a name in the chat, and we will, uh, we'll pick one. Ooh, ho oh, I like. Uh. I wish we could have like thousands of names for the poll, but.
I wish I could have chosen more because they're all great. They're all great chat. All right, I got some, I've got some to choose from. Now let the poll begin. If you don't see it, refresh. You've got four choices you can make and I will, uh, I will choose the win the winning one, obviously. So make sure you vote between all of them. And just so you all know, all of the suggestions, they were all great. But unfortunately, we could only choose four in that pool. I think we got some four good ones to uh, to choose from. In the meantime, while that poll is running, I am just going to trade a little bit with these villagers. So I can get some more emeralds and we can get a name tag. Looks like, uh, is it tartar sauce winning? Is tartar sauce coming out in the lead? I mean, tartar sauce is delicious. So like, and also we're running a fish shop. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. All of these names, chat. I have never seen an iron golem hold out the poppy before. What the heck? I have n I've never seen you do that in your in my life. What are you doing? I didn't know you could do that. I've seen I know you drop poppies, but I've never seen you hold one. Huh? We need more uh we need more emeralds. I know I have a name tag somewhere, but I kind of lost where they went. So I'm just gonna keep uh keep trading until the poll's done. Oh my gosh, Barnacle Boy. Is Barnacle Boy from SpongeBob? I don't remember. Alright, chat, you have I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds to uh vote. Make sure you vote. Make sure you vote. All right, let's bring some of this iron over into our, um, to our area. What the heck? What's going on? Sorry, my chat was going crazy. I don't know what was happening in there. So weird. All right, I'm going to be ending the poll in five, four, three, two, one it looks like tartar sauce is the winner yeah gg's gg's tartar sauce saffron oh wait no saffron ended up losing points latte was very close the last time i saw it, saffron was like at like half huh i'm very confused gg's to everybody gg's to all of uh everybody who suggested names i appreciate it Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the iron golem was trying to give me a gift. Why have I never noticed them doing that before? You've recorded the most simple trick you know. Heck yeah. Is it in the discord? Why are cat owners like that? Dog owners are like, this is Bruce, a purebred German Shepherd, and cat owners are like, this is dumpster fire. We found her in the trash. Literally. Literally. We sometimes, because Ruth's obviously, <laughs> obviously adopted. We found, we got her at an adopt-a-thon um, one day. It, it just felt like everything fell into place the day we got Ruth, because like we had been kind of like looking for cats for a long time, um, and we went through like adoption websites and they were kind of like i found that they, it was really hard to like the whole process was very difficult like you couldn't like it, you had to set up appointments and stuff and both me and btd had like really crazy jobs at the time where we're like we had to work like weird hours and weren't like um never had the same time off so it was really hard for us and like the applications like you had to fill out so many it just like was a huge process so one day we went to like an adopt-a-thon um, that was run at, by like a, a pet shop. And then basically what they do is they um, they run through 
like an adoption agency and they have like a bunch of cats there for people to uh come take a look at at the actual shop and um i think also some of like the proceeds of buying the cat goes back into the shelter as well so that's how we found ruth we ended up going to one of the stores and uh we saw her and we were just like she's a little runt i love it she was just like seven months old and she was super cute we i don't even know what our parameters what were for like wanting a cat i think our parameters were like when we see the right one we'll just know and that was kind of it with ruth where we were kind of like looking around at all of them i mean like every cat is so cute but like you kind of just know when you see the right one you know what i mean you just know so we like saw um we were looking at a bunch of cats and then abby was like she like looked at the cage and she's like i see one back there is there like i see one over there can we see that one please and it was ruth and the guy was like yeah sure so the first thing that um abby did was she wanted to make sure that like ruth was the kind of cat that maybe liked to be held she was so young and basically she picked her up she held her and ruth was like sniffing her and like sniffing her face and then after a couple seconds she wanted to be put down and because she wanted to look around and she was like super curious and we were like oh that's that's the cat for us and we ended up just like picking her up bringing her home and it was the best it was the best decision we could have made was randomly going out that day and being like i want a cat finally i really want a cat today i mean we wanted one for so long we had like the litter box ready all the food bowls and stuff but like for some reason that day we were like we should just like kind of look around to see if we can get one today and it happened we got little ruthie sorry that was my long spiel about how we got ruth and we call her she was a little street rat though she was a little street rat the ruth origin story yes that is the ruth origin story <laughs> you have to have the cat choose you exactly when we got ours where um they were two kittens that climbed up on us and wanted our attention that's exactly it I missed part of this and fully thought you were talking about adopting a child. <laughs> oh gosh, nah, just Ruth. Just stinky little Ruth. Pandora, my cat, was found uh, with a litter of kittens in a box uh, in a pub car park. One of the patrons had said that to the landlady, did you know you've got kittens? The landlady said, I didn't even know. Oh, oh. It's so true though, where like the cats choose you. And like, that's what it felt like as soon as like uh, we pulled... Ruthie got pulled out of the cage. Her her original name also was Amy, which is hilarious. <laughs> I remember we were like, well, I think we're going to be changing that. I remember bringing her up to the cash desk and the lady was like, oh my God, you're adopting Amy. Oh, she's so cute. And we were like, oh, <laughs> Amy. <laughs> That's Ruth's OG name. <laughs> oh God. Where are we from? We're Canadian. I knew my cat was the one when he immediately attacked me, bit my hand, kicked me, and then licked my face. Love at first sight. Exactly. Exactly. The finest form of affection. She was called Pandora because she was found in a box. That is the sweetest thing. I love that. <laughs> Beatrice, welcome on in. How are you doing? love your minecraft videos oh thank you so much i appreciate it and thank you so much for popping into the stream we we're just uh having a heartfelt moment about uh some cats right now all right let's uh let's name tartar sauce i think tartar sauce is not an employee of the fish shop but rather a very loyal patron so i think tartar sauce belongs at the front here attempting to get the fish that is on sale. Tartar sauce can be here. All right, tartar sauce. I mean, listen, you are a loyal customer. So you actually get, you get a 20% discount here. Tartar sauce knows all the deals too. Tartar sauce like always like asks, oh, which fish are on sale? You know, like she's always got some coupons on her. Like she's, she's very, she's very knowledgeable about fish. And also sometimes, you know what? Sometimes Eminem, will be is like they're buddies at this point because she's such a regular loyal customer she'll slip in like maybe a couple like free fish now and then you know like on holidays and stuff very very loyal customer 
Very loyal. <laughs> we did it! We did it, chat! My cats were called Herbie and Buggy. They quickly got renamed to um, Orion and Alara. Oh, I love those names. It's so funny the names they end up with at first. Like, so, so random. I had my heart set on a ginger or ginger and white cat, but when we went to see the kittens, Biscuit was there and she was so vocal and so funny, we immediately fell in love with her. Isn't that so sweet? When you kind of like have an idea for like what type of cat you want, but then you see one and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the one. This is the one. It's so true though. Like that's kind of how we felt with Ruth with like her personality. As soon as we saw her, we were like, oh my gosh, this is a weird cat. And that's what we wanted. And she is just like um, Biscuit Mama. She's very vocal and just very sweet. When I went to pick up Cheddar, the lady we bought uh, bought him from opened the door and he was literally eight weeks old and he bolted out the door. It was so scary. He's a little monster. Aren't all the best cats little monsters? Aren't they all the best? I love that. That's so sweet. Discord keeps crashing and not letting me upload. No, I wonder if it's file size that's uh that's getting you, Toots. Ah, oh, love kitties. When you got Estella, I just knew she was the one. After my cat Momo died, my mom wanted me to get a new cat for my birthday, so she went to the shelter. I saw her before I um I even gave up on looking. Yeah, it's just like you just know. You know, like I just feel like it's like so immediate, you know? So so immediate. Our kitty came with the name Cosmo, but I call him Cosmonaut, Cosmopolitan, Cosmographer, Cosmetologist. Oh, literally. You have to, like, you've got to give them, got to give them, like, hundreds of thousands of names. I mean, if not, like, are they really your cat? I feel like Ruth has at least a hundred, a hundred names, a hundred alternate names. Ruth, Ruthie, Rufus, Chicken Gut, Plaque Tooth, uh, Tiny Allen, uh, stinky. Just so many. Gut. You know? <laughs> uh, so silly. Alright, well, we got tartar sauce. We got tartar sauce. And also, we have M&M in the shop. So, we have two fully decorated shops now, which is great. Love it. Love to see it. So, we've got this one. Selma's still in here. And we've got, um... We've got Reaper in here as well. So this is our plant shop. If you all didn't see it, this was done on Twitch the other day. And today we worked on the fish shop and it looks honestly phenomenal. I, I love how this turned out. So many, so many good ideas from chat with like the fluorescent lighting that we put in, um, like the fish on ice. So many cool little unique ideas. I think this one turned out really nice. I think with that, though, I think we've already been streaming two hours and 30 minutes. I think that pretty much like kind of wraps it up for today. Honestly, we got a lot of stuff done um, and I'm super, super happy with how it all turned out. So what do you say we wrap things up uh, before we do, though? I'll just like let you all know what's going on this week. So tomorrow I have a long play with commentary scheduled for all of you to go out. It is a one off. It is going to be Terralith based. Um, I also do have another long play after that. However, the next week after this week is going to be Chill Survival. Those episodes are coming back, so don't you worry about that. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that we stream on Twitch on Fridays. Uh, we usually stream Minecraft on Fridays. And then on Saturdays, we have introduced a new, uh, a new stream called Big Tiny Saturdays, where I play cozy co-op games with Big Tiny Duck. So... The last one we played was Fortnite because we absolutely love Fortnite, but we're going to be starting a Fardu, Fardu, Fardu Storm. Wow. A Stardew Farm together. Fardu Valley is actually the, what the game is called. No, we're going to be doing a Stardew Farm. Um, either finishing up or starting that this week or maybe next. We'll see. Uh, but definitely keep an eye out for those streams as well. And... Also, if you miss those VODs, I'm trying my best. I'm going to really try hard to get those on the second channel. So, uh, click, I think it's, is it exclamation point second channel for this one? I forget. Fardu Starm. Second? Second? 
There we go. There we go. Make sure you subscribe to that channel because I am going to be putting the VODs up there where you can watch all the big tiny duck shenanigans. Trust me, you don't want to miss them. You really don't want to miss them because they are chaotic and super, super fun. But with that, everybody, thank you all so much for today. I had so much. We had so many fun chats today. We, we just like covered so much stuff. I had so much fun with that. Um, thank you all so much for the channel memberships. Thank you all so much just for hanging out. I had such a blast that shadow creeping in really scared me. So keep an eye out for all of the content on YouTube this week. Um, if not, I'll, but other than that, I will see you on Twitch on Friday. If you ain't going to be there, then I will see you back here on Mondays. Don't forget. We're always live here at 12 PM EST. So with that, everybody have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all soon.